an obesity crisis across the country, and we've got to keep our kids moving. And just having them have straight, safe streets to walk and bike to school is just a really, really critical part of it, and it also makes everything safe for the residents as well. The parents were interviewed, and a lot of people put back their surveys, and they actually had said that over 50% of the respondents, their kids, had asked about walking to school. This is just so much fun to have something new that is for the community. We were given this beautiful solar-powered flashing beacon. So what we did at Active Transportation Alliance, we sat down with a number of our clients that had developed active transportation plans and had really analyzed all their streets and felt that Des Plaines was a perfect city to figure out the proper place to install this solar-powered um, flashing beacon. Now one of the things uh, that makes this location stand out is the fact that it serves four different schools. This is a non-signalized crossing, so it was a perfect location to put in such a feature such that it can be controlled by the people that have come here to walk across the street, be it the children, the staff, or the parents. Hopefully this will bring the safety of students to mind, make people aware of it. So something new, something very visible, this should accomplish that. Uh, well, one of the things that was nice about this is that it could be installed by our public works crews using existing equipment. Um, so in that sense it was really easy and a quick process. So some of the other improvements are uh, infrastructure improvements like uh, curb extensions, uh, changing the pavement. Those tend to be much more expensive uh, and uh, take a lot longer. In a leadership position you are always looking to improve the quality of life of the citizens of your community. It is necessary to keep moving forward, to use advancements, technological advancements, initiative, try ideas, try new ideas, everything that can improve safety and bring a sense of awareness to our citizens and protect our residents, but first of all, our children.